Mike Love, Sun is Shining. This is a Bob Marley birthday tribute. Coming up in 30 seconds, first time reaction. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for uh, tuning in. This is Matt Criscuolo coming to you up close and personal with a first time reaction of my buddy Mike Sinise told me that I should react to this guy, that he's super talented. And, uh, you know, hey, listen, I believe him. I've been reacting to so many great artists. I'm so proud to be able to bring so many great artists through my channel to you and others. So if you have uh, the ability, please check the description below and you'll see a few different ways that you can support the channel. Um, YouTube does not monetize 99% of my videos, so I really depend on the, on you, the, the, the uh, public, to, uh, to show some love and support. And it certainly inspires me to keep on going. So anyway, let's let's get right to this, shall we? Uh, Mike Love, what are you all about? Is that his real name? All right, aloha. Thank you for tuning in. We're here to celebrate the life and legacy of the one and only Bob Marley, the king of reggae music. Yeah. Really my greatest music influence in this life. And yeah. I'm so thankful for all of his music and all it's taught me, all it's given me, and, and so many others. And I think really one of the most amazing things about it is that you know, it continues to gain momentum. It continues to gain relevance in this time that we're living in, in these crazy times that we're living in. And it has more and more power. And he's really become a household name in every country in the world. And I just think it's so amazing. And I want to pay tribute and honor to him today by playing a few of his songs. Amen. This first one's called Sun is Shining. Right on. That's an awful lot of reverb he's got on that microphone. I hope that... Uh, He's, I'm assuming that he's already figured out his mix. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, I like it. Nice chords. Yeah. 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 I was grooving on that, man. Uh, but I did want to stop and say a couple of things if, as soon as I can get my head to stop moving. 
Okay. All right. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, Mike Sinise. And yeah, Mike Love. This is serious. Mike Squared. Uh, amazing. I know the song. I've heard it many times before. Never heard it quite like this. And never heard it by one guy. <laughs> and I love what he's doing. I will confess, if I could do what he's doing, I would do it. Because I like to be independent and be a one-man show if I could. you know. Um, and he's able to do his business and take care of his thing all by his own, all by his lonesome. And good for him, man. Because you could be in your own room. And, you know, it's one thing to practice an instrument where you're, you know, like I've played the piano and practiced my saxophone at the same time. I've done that. But the tech, you know, because I have the saxophone in my hand. I've got the piano right in front of me. And I can go like this and I can play and I can, but it's not the same thing by any stretch of the imagination because what he's doing with these, you know, looping and recording is he's creating track on top of track on top and basically creating a one man band. And it sounds great. And the guy is very talented. He's very good at what he does. Love Bob Marley. Um, yeah, get right to it. In the evening, here I am. If you can want you to know just want you to know just where I stand away from your sleep and slumber. I just I just had to pause. I had to pause the video with my foot for a second because I got inspired by him um, with Magic Feet, Mike with the Magic Feet. I was going to tell you briefly that I actually have quite a bit of experience playing reggae music. Even though I'm a jazz saxophonist, I got the. Uh, the I, I was lucky to play with a reggae band out of Norwalk, Connecticut, many years ago. Um, they're not together anymore, but what an experience that was. Uh, we used to hop in an old Volkswagen bu uh, bus and travel up and down the coast, the East Coast, uh, playing the college circuit. And we were playing some serious reggae, man. And I wish I was a little bit loosey, more loosey-goosey back then. I was a little, a little straight-laced, you know. I didn't indulge in the ganja at all the, but the rest of the band would be passing a roach around and i would watch it in the van and i will admit that i wasn't a smoker i was a goody two-shoe but as i was watching the little ember burning on the end of the of the joint I, I as i was watching it being passed around i have to admit that after a while that it started to look a little psychedelic and a little funny a little funny and it was like, oh, why the hell is that cigarette just so funny to look at? And I'm laughing because I was getting the secondhand smoke and I was watching this thing go around. And uh, anyway, that's another story. But love reggae music and actually um, uh, love uh, Bob Marley. And like I told you, when I got married, my first marriage, that um, uh, one a Bob Marley song was actually my wedding song. Um, anyway, back to the music, huh? Uh -huh. Today could bring your lucky number Yeah. Sun is shining and the weather is sweet. Sun 
Yeah, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, Mike. That was wonderful. Hey, uh, was he smoking a little ganja when he recorded that? I don't know, but I could tell you. Makes me want to smoke some ganja. Um, yeah, beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Loved it. So grateful that I uh, was made aware of that by uh, uh, Mike Sinise. And, you know, what he was saying in the beginning about this music being more relevant now than, than ever before. Well, look, you know, a lot of the stuff, it's interesting. Back in the 60s, um, you know, uh, when a lot of this stuff was uh, being performed by uh, Bob Marley, you know, uh, what was it, 70s? I don't know, right? but I was going to refer to the 60s when it comes to certain rock and roll and certain jazz. You know, jazz started getting very exploratory into the abstract because it was a reaction to what was going on in the world with all the turmoil and, and a lot of the rock and roll with the Doors and uh, Led Zeppelin and all these guys, you know, they were, you know, playing a lot of heavy stuff. And there was a lot of experimental music going on. Uh, there was definitely something in the air. Now, here we are, you know, uh, dealing with a lot of tumultuous times as well, you know, uh, uh, a lot of weird shit going on, you know, um, some good, some we don't know yet. And, uh, you know, to have this music come back around, and to be, it's very relevant. I, I would like to see, um, I would like to see the music take more risks and take more chances like it did back in the 60s, um, you know, they took a lot, a lot of chances. Now, in the jazz world, they still do that. I know that in rock, there it's still out there, but it, maybe it's a little more on the fringe. You know, when you're dealing with mainstream music, obviously, the more closer you get to the to the middle, the more tamer it gets. But uh, there's still a lot of people out there, I'm sure, making, you know, reacting to all this craziness that's going on in the world, and and it's reflective in the music. Hey, that's interesting stuff too, in my opinion. What do you think? What do you think about Mike Love? You dig him? Do you love him? Is it more like Mike like? Or is it Mike love? At any rate, hey, let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like any merchandise, I have some pretty cool stuff in uh, the description below. I have a little some t-shirts and hoodies and stickers and all that fun stuff. Hey guys, look, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy. And if it's real easy, take it twice. <laughs>